until we reach the dolphin. There we go. Welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's Minecraft video, you and myself, we are going to be coding Minecraft. This is Minecraft's Hour of Code tutorials. I remember doing this in 2016 and I'm pretty sure I did it last year as well because I'm pretty sure I completed this one being the Minecraft adventurer and the Minecraft designer. I don't think I ever played Minecraft Heroes Journey, but if you guys would like to see me do that, then all you gotta do is let me know in the comment section and be sure to hit that like button. So you don't have to be a professional coder to do this and I'll leave the link down below in the description so you guys can try it out for yourself. It is incredibly fun. So today we're gonna be playing this one, which is pretty new. It's Minecraft Voyage Aquatic. Use your creativity and problem solving skills to explore and build underwater worlds with code. I believe there's a couple of friends in this. I think it's Amy Lee, I think it's Tomahawk, and there's a couple other people as well, which I think is fantastic. So obviously it says Minecraft hour of code. So this could take up to an hour. I don't think I'm gonna make today's video one hour. So if you'd like to see a part two, then let me know in the comment section. And as always, just hit that like button. So let's see where this journey takes us because it's pretty fun to try out. Okay, so we click start. Um, oh, we've got an introduction. Okay, Minecraft Voyage Aquatic Introduction. I'm pretty sure this is Amy Lee's introduction. So let's listen. Hello, you're just in time. Welcome to the Voyage Aquatic. I'm about to embark on a quest to find hidden underwater treasure and I'm very glad to have your help. Who knows what we'll encounter along these mysterious waterways. We're meant to meet our first guide somewhere on this dock. Welcome adventurers! Oh, to complete the Voyage Aquatic, you'll need to solve a series of puzzles using code. Here's how it works. Your screen is split into three main parts. On okay. the left, you'll see the Minecraft world. The middle area is your toolbox, where you can find coding commands. And on the large area on the right is your workspace. This is where you can start commands to build your program and control your movements. Okay. The instructions for each level are at the top of the page. Click the plus sign to change between long and short instructions. Try dragging blocks from the toolbox into the workspace. Okay. Stacking them and then click the run button to execute your commands. You might have to try a few times to get it right and some of the puzzles have more than one solution. So experiment to see what works. If you want to try again, click the reset button to go back where you started. If you need to delete a command, just drag the block from your workspace back into the toolbox. I remember, remember now. Click run to see what your code looks like in action. Okay, enough messing around, fellow adventurer. Let's start coding to find some underwater treasure. All right, well, that's the introduction coming from Amy Lee and Tomahawk. I think that's pretty awesome. Let's get started. Choose your character, Steve or Alex. We're gonna go, Steve. So as explained, uh, it says here, you need supplies for the voyage ahead. Collect the boat from the chest. Um, so that's our current first challenge that we need to do. Okay. All right. So let's get started. So we need to move to this chest. So if I click run, it just moves forward once. So if we reset this, it says when run, move forward. I think we need to move forward again as well. So if we do this. Ah, there we go. First one is complete. I like that. Okay. Puzzle one complete. Congratulations. You just wrote two lines of code. Show the code. So this is what we just done. This is like the coding in terms of like how Minecraft works. And if you're a coder, you're probably familiar with this. I've never coded a thing in my life. So it's always good to, to play this and, and see how it runs. So moving on to number two. Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Head to the end of the dock to hop aboard. Okay, so we need to move forward by one. So we move forward, we need to then turn right. So move forward, then turn right, uh, one, two. I think we gotta move forward by two. This is just me wildly guessing at the moment. Yes, I did it without having to test it. Okay, not bad, it gets a little bit difficult. You just wrote four lines of code. All time total six lines of code and we show the code. So this is showing our specific code of what we're coding so far in Minecraft. All right, moving on to number three. Grab the, oh, the oars? Wait, 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 oh, grab the oars. I was like, I was so confused. It means the paddle oars and pilot your boat across the open seas to catch the cod. So we need to go forward to this code. We need to go one, two, 
three, four, five, six, I think it's six or seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's seven in total that we need to do. Three, four, five, six. Yes, we did it. Okay, you just wrote seven lines of code. All time total, 13. Let's continue. Number four. Oh, it's squid. Okay, so let's see what this one says. So Minecraft Voyage Aquatic Repeat Until. Let's listen to this one. Great, we've caught a codfish. Did you know if you feed a codfish to a dolphin, the dolphin will guide you to a shipwreck yes. where there may be treasure. We must be getting closer. The next set of puzzles are bound to be trickier, so we better learn some more coding skills. Okay. What's this? A cave? Welcome, adventurers. Oh, it's squid. My name is Squid. I noticed you were using the same set of commands over and over in some of the last puzzles. Yes. Must have been a bit tiresome. Do you ever wish you had a way to do something over and over again? Like, you know, washing dishes or brushing your teeth without getting tired or bored? <laughs> that would be nice. Computers are really good at doing the same thing over and over again using coding loops. Ah. When you want your program to do the same instructions many times, you can use a loop. The loop contains instructions with the command to repeat until goal. Once your program starts a repeat until goal loop, it will keep running the instructions inside until it gets to the goal. Try this for yourself. Place the commands you want to repeat inside the repeat until goal block. Click run and watch it go. Okay then. Well, that was a little weird. Who knew squids could code? I didn't even think they had fingers. So now <laughs> we know about loops, let's use them to bag us some more treasure. All right, thanks Squid, thanks Amy. Okay, so let's just, oh, there's a dolphin in this one. So let me just quickly do this one. So if we do um, turn left and we set this on repeat and we run this, this is gonna continuously turn on repeat, Round and round and round and round. So instead of me doing, let me explain this for you. Instead of me doing this, move forward, move forward, move forward over and over and over again. It means, uh, can we not reset this please? I want to get rid of this and that one. It means that we now have the option to just continuously move forward. So it says, let's feed the cod to the dolphin. Use a repeat block to get across the ocean faster. So we need to go forward. So we've got when run, repeat until, goal, move forward. So we need to go to this one. It's gonna be in a straight line to start off with until we reach the dolphin. There we go. So that saves things a little bit easier. See what the code looks like for this one. Repeat until goal function. Okay, so instead of Move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. It makes much more sense. So we're moving on to number five. So things are getting a little bit difficult now. Uh, what's this one? There are Nautilus shells. The magic con shell, by the way. Hidden somewhere. Explore the shipwreck to reach the chest. Where is my person? Oh, there I am. Okay, I don't want to do that. So we need to go and find the chest. So we need to go... We need to go this way. So we need to turn right. So I don't think we need this. We need to turn right. In fact, I don't even think we need this one. We need to turn right. So let's just quickly test this one, yes. Then we need to move forward. So if we go move forward, and then we need to turn right again, move forward. Let's just test this real quick. Okay, I don't think we need this repeat one then. So we need to turn right. Then we need to move forward. One, two. So forward, forward. Let's test. Then we need to turn right. Let's run. Then we need to go forward twice. And then we need to turn right. Let's go. I think we've done this right. Yes, even though we banged my head, I, <laughs> I don't know if I've done something wrong though by not using the repeat command in this one because I'm pretty sure you're meant to reuse the, the repeat command, but I don't think you necessarily have to. Puzzle five complete, congratulations. It is also possible to complete it with five blocks. You just wrote the lines, wait, wait, it's also possible to complete in five blocks? I think that's what we did it in. Did we not? I don't know, show the code. Okay, either way, it's complete. <laughs> Moving on to number six. Okay, so number six. Looks freezing out there. Catch a salmon 
on your way to the underwater ruins. So, where are we? Ah, we're in a boat right there. Okay, so we need to go right. So turn right. Move. Uh, repeat three times. Okay, so repeat three times. Let's move forward. Let me test this. One, two, three. Then we need to turn left. Does it let me turn left? It doesn't let me turn left. Ah! We should go forward. I'm slightly confused. I think I know what I've got to do here. I think we might need to turn around here and then go forward. We're going to test this. So we put this back in here and we turn right. Let me try this real quick. One, two, three. Yes, now we've got to go forward. So what do we need to do? Catch the salmon. So we got to go. Can we say hello to this, by the way? We're going to move forward three times. So we're going to go move forward three times. Let's try this one. One. One, two, three. So that moved forward. You got to turn right. I want to go and see this turtle. Then we've got to move forward three times. So that should put us, so we turn right, one, two, three. Then we've got to spin round three times again. And then do one, two, three. Okay, so I think we've got to do repeat. So this is getting a little bit more confusing now. I'm going to test this. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to test this. Forward three times. Spin round three times. One. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, I actually did it. Yo, that was awesome. Okay, so it says puzzle six complete. Congratulations. It's also possible to complete it with 10 blocks. You just wrote 14 lines of code. Things are now getting a little bit more extravagant. I like it though. So far, so good. All right, moving on to number seven. We have a new one. I think this is Netty. Okay. So this one is Minecraft Voyage Aquatic uh, Conditionals. Wow, another three puzzles solved. Yes. And we've caught a salmon. <laughs> Not quite as exciting as piles of gold, but we'll take what we can get. And I have a feeling that Nautilus shell will come in handy later. Yes. I wonder what lurks in these ruins. Perhaps another hint. Let's take a look inside. My name is Nettie, and is welcome Nettie. to my ruins. We make decisions all the time based on conditions. If it looks like rain, then we'll grab an umbrella. If we're hungry, then we'll eat a snack. If we see a creeper, then we run in the opposite direction. Computers make these types of decisions too. They can actually respond to conditions using code. To program a response like this using your code command, select an if path block. Select the drop down to create the command. For example, if you write the command if path to the right and place turn right inside the conditional, then when Steve reaches an open path to the right, he will always turn right. Ah. If there's no opening to the right, he will not turn right. These conditional if commands are helpful when you run code in unpredictable situations, such as mysterious ruins and underwater caves. Try using the if blocks and take your code for a spin. Wow, Nettie's ruins were awesome. I really got to move out of my parents' house. So what do you think? Are the conditions right for us to complete the final puzzles? Let's give it a go. Okay, then that was quite interesting. I like this one quite a lot. So, just to explain to you guys, the if path to the right means that if Steve has options to go to the right, he will go to the right. If he does not have options to go to the right, he will not go to the right. So we need to do, if you found... You found the underwater ruin, search the sandstone for a chest containing prismarine. So I think if we do exactly what Nettie says, this should work. So we turn right here. And turn right again. There we go. See, I was just watching what she did there. I think I understand this one. Puzzle 7 complete. Congratulations. You just wrote four lines of code. All time total 41. Okay. It's getting, it's getting a little bit more difficult though. It's definitely getting a little bit more difficult. First icebergs, now lava. Get through this volcanic island and find the tropical fish in the coral reef. Right, so we need to go, uh, when run, um, hmm. Repeat, I think it was this one as well. And then I think it was turn right. 
I think this is it. I'm sorry, we're gonna miss the turtle. In fact, actually, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Um, oh, you can click the drop down left to turn left or right. <laughs> That's why the earlier one was, I'm an idiot. So you, I could have clicked this to turn left instead of right, but instead I was spinning my boat round. I'm an idiot sometimes. I was spinning my boat round instead of doing, the oh well, it looked much better. So we need to go right, um, and then I think it's moved forward. I think this is what it possibly could be. Come on, Steve. Um, unless it's this one. Okay, so we need to turn right. So we need to turn right there. So if we run this one, this will turn right and then it'll keep going and then it'll turn right again. Okay, so I don't want to do that there. So when we get there, um, I'm going to turn left. We're going to turn left because I'm going to get this. We're going to turn left. So that will go that way. And then we're going to repeat this until goal. Uh, move forward. And then I think it's this one. Let's just try this real quick before we do that one. Because I want to get the turtle. I want to see if the turtle is going to give me any rewards. Here we go, turn right, and then it should turn left. Nope, it's not gonna. Oh, well, we did it anyway. I kind of did want to go and get, what's the code looking like now? It's getting a little bit more confusing, but it's still looking good. I wanted to see if we could get the, um, the turtle, because obviously the turtle must be extra rewards. You made it to the reef. Now search for the heart of the sea. Use the blue and red coral to reach the treasure chest. The blue and red coral, if standing on blue and red coral, this one was a little bit confusing. So if standing on blue or red coral. Okay, so this took me quite some time to figure out because I got really confused. I thought that these blocks, this block, this block, this block was very similar to these blocks, meaning that they were raised. I was expecting to get to like this point and have to break through. That's not the case. So I've used a whole range of different things here. I decided to use as much of these as I could, including um, lots of move forwards, turn rights, I decided to not use repeats on this one. You could do, but I decided not to. Uh, and I'm using some of the if standing on coral, etc. move forward, etc. So what I need to do now is this one's gonna be turn right, and this one's gonna be move forward and move forward. Now I'm pretty sure this is gonna tell me this can be, can be, can be can, this can be completed in half, but I'm gonna use this one. So this should complete this time. I got really confused because of the blocks on the screen. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how we get on here. Keep going. So I'm using the coral ones where we stand on specific things and then you guide it to see where it goes specifically. So this should do straight. So right here, we're here. We're gonna keep going and then we're gonna get to this chest. For the heart of the sea. So this should turn, ah, okay. So turn right, move forward. Hold on, that's not correct. Repeat until move forward, then turn right. So this has to go. See this part? This needs to go. This needs to be moved forward quite a few times. I'm using the singular ones. They seem to be a little bit easier for me to use at this moment. This is unused code. That's fine. We'll use that in a second. So that's turn right. One, two, three, four. We need to do one, two. So we need to do two more, I believe. And then turn right and move forward. I think this is right. No, I gotta keep going. Unless I gotta redo it. Okay, I told you this one's a little bit difficult. This is number nine, by the way. It looks like there's a couple more for us to go through. I believe we could do this though. Come on, Steve. Keep going. You could, you could do this. I hope you've got your underwater potions ready. Keep going. Three, four, five, six, ten, right, one, and two. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. This is gonna tell me that this could have been completed a lot easier. Um, Puzzle complete. Congratulations, it's also possible to complete a nine. I used 40 lines, <laughs> Jesus man. I'm terrible at this. Okay, so there is a squid hiding somewhere in the ocean monument. Can you find it? So we're here, so we've got to go to there, all the way to there, 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 there. Okay, well I'm just gonna use this. Um, ah, okay, so move forward. Repeat, move forward. If standing on sea lantern, turn, I think it's turn right. 
Should we try this one? With the repeat commands? Repeat goal, move forward. Let's try this one. If standing on sea lantern, turn right. If standing on sea lantern, turn right. Let's keep going. Move forward. If, oh, we did it. We made this one. This one was not a problem. That one was a lot easier. That was number 10. <laughs> I feel like a pro coder now. Puzzle complete, congratulations. You wrote just four lines of code, all time code, as you guys can see there. Uh, looking good. What else does it say? Next one. Number 11. Build a wall of prismarine around the black concrete. This will activate the conjurer and complete your challenge. Okay, so we got to, what does it say? Build a wall of prismarine. So, um, when standing on, where is it? Repeat five times. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, we could do this one and then we could do turn right. Repeat five times. So move forward, I think it is. Yes. Nope, that's wrong. So move forward five times. Uh, can we not change the times? So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, let's try this one more time. Three, four. Okay, so we go do this four times. And then it's turn right, I think. Three, four, then turn right. And I think we gotta repeat this as well. I think we just gotta repeat this one. So we gotta turn, we gotta do exactly the same. So turn right, uh, repeat, move forward, place Pismarine four times. I'm gonna try this. I gotta do it three times in total. So we gotta do the same command again. Then it's gonna be turn right, repeat for four times. I didn't know you could type these in. Again, I'm learning this as well as you guys because I haven't played this for a long, long time. Place this, one, two, three. One more time, this should be okay. So turn right, repeat four times, move forward and place this. Let's try this. Come on, Steve. One. Two, three, four, exactly the same. So this is gonna activate the conduit. This is gonna give us the power that we need to complete this. One, two, three, and four. There we go, we did it. We activated the conduit. Way to go, Steve. All right, we did this. Uh, you just wrote 15 lines of code. It's possible to complete an 11. Okay then. Oh. Let's listen to our Tomahawk again. Congratulations! Oh, it's same with the Ant Tomahawk. Did it. Congratulations! You did it! Congratulations! Congratulations! What a great day! All the treasure hunting led to us to build a Minecraft conduit. Nautilus shells, treasure chests, and I just love the color of Prismarine. And we learned how to code with loops and conditionals. Speaking of coding, there is one more level to this quest. Oh. Are you up for it, adventurers? It's a free play level and you can put your coding skills to use and build something incredible. Hmm, a place to hide your treasure, an underwater monument, a coral castle. Ah, so many ideas. Try using loops to create a repeat action and conditionals to prepare for all those unpredictable scenarios. You've certainly proven yourself an intrepid coder by now. And I can't wait to see what you build. And hopefully your adventures with code don't end here. Bon voyage! You know what? This has been fantastic. So it looks like we got one more to do here. Congratulations. The open aquatic world awaits you. Build a coral reef and volcano, a shipwreck. It's up to you. So we're at a point now where we can literally do anything that we would like to do. Wow. Um... So you can, I'm not gonna do this because I really don't need to do this. I just wanted to complete this, but there is so many different options. You know what we're gonna do? What else can we spawn in here? We can spawn in a dolphin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this, repeat this five times. Uh, let's do move forward, spawn in the dolphin and repeat it five times. Spawn in sea turtle. Let's see what this does. Oh, we're just gonna spawn in lots of things. 
<laughs> we're just spawning lots of things. You know what, guys? It's fully up to do what to you what you do with that. Um, go mess around with it. I think the Minecraft arrow code is is brilliant. They did it. They did such a fantastic job with this. Yay! Look, you end a certificate of completion. Certificate of completion, hour of code. Guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please, please be sure to hit that like button. The link's down below so you guys can play it for yourself. I think it's fantastic. Maybe if you guys would like to see more, we could do more because I think there's more that we can do. If we click on this a second. Um, we did this one, but there's definitely more that we can do. But anyway, guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.